everyone. Today I'm doing a voiceover as you can already tell. I don't normally do voiceovers so don't mind if I make a few mistakes. Today I'm doing another editing tutorial since I've been asked many times. I will be explaining as I go along but if you can't keep up then pause the video or slow it down. I'm going to start the tutorial now so edit along with me and enjoy. Okay so you can start by importing your photo and then you add a new layer and change the blending mode to multiply. So you get the skin colour and then select belt tip pen hard. Sorry I'm really bad at explaining and talking. Okay so just kind of follow what I'm doing and then adjust it to your liking. I'm not really sure. I'm better at texting. No, yeah, okay. Um, but just adjust it to however you like. And right now I was just adjusting it. And then what you do is you get the eraser and erase what you don't want. Honestly, I just realised that my voice is really deep. I'm like listening to back to the recordings that I'm, I've been doing and my voice is super deep. Why is it like that? Okay. Anyways, um, here I'm just erasing the stuff, <laughs> and then I think next I start on the eyes. I think that's what I did. I don't know. I can't remember. I've got a bad memory. Okay, so I'm not going to talk that much because, I, I, as you can tell, I, I can't. I can't talk. I'm horrible at explaining. Okay, but now add a new layer and select the blending mode to add. And select the eye colour and the brush pen fade. And then you draw like a oval shape at the bottom of your eye. So basically, I'm, not, I'm just going to let you sort of copy what I'm doing here. And just select like lighter shades of eyes and then I'll come back <laughs> later. Okay, so now you add a new layer and set the blending mode. What am I doing? Wait, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Oh, 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 yes, yes. Okay, so you erase the um, uh, eye thingy that you just drew in like an X shape. You can do it in like whatever shape you want, honestly, but I like to do it in like an X because it looks cool. Um, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Next, you add a new layer and select the blending mode to multiply, and you use the same. You get the yeah. You use the same pen, and then you just um. So you can just copy what I'm doing. Okay. So while we're doing this, I'm gonna t I'm gonna tell you a little bit about myself. So I've already done a Q and A, but I mean, if you have any questions about me, you can like ask me. And I, I'll, I'll probably, I'll try to reply, but like, normally my editing tutorials have like, lots of comments on them, so I might not see your comments, because last time on my other editing tutorials, I gave up on hiding all the comments, there was just too many, but I'm glad, I'm glad everyone likes the editing tutorials, okay, oh wait, back to the video, okay, so you lower the opacity of that layer, if you want, then you add a new one, and select the colour to add, <laughs> colour, okay, anyways, you select your eye colour and then choose dip pen hard and then turn the stabiliser thing imaging on and then you okay, you know what, just 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 copy what I'm doing. Then you create like a little ring thing in the eye. I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so do that on both eyes. And oh okay, and then you um Lower the opacity of that. I'm just testing out to see the size. But you lower the opacity and create it a bit bigger. And do that on both sides. And then you put the opacity to 100. And you do like a smaller one next to it. Like that. Okay. Um. Now we're doing the eyelashes I think. Okay so you have the dip pen hard brush. And you have to adjust the stabilizer again. 
So just carefully look at what I'm adjusting it to. Okay, and the eyelashes are pretty simple for me at least, but I can't really explain them. I can't really explain how to do it, so I'm just gonna let you copy that and yeah. <laughs> Okay, so don't mind what I'm doing here. I was just messing around because it looked funny. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I was just basically, like, giving her, like, spider eyes or something. But, um, anyways. So this is, like, I was just trying this out. You don't have to do this, but you can if you want. I'm not doing this because, I don't know. But, um, I was just trying it out and you do not have to do it. I didn't end up doing it, but it was just trying, I was just trying something new. But, um, yeah. So, obviously, I've already said that. Okay, you don't have to do it. But I ended up doing, like, a little... No, I didn't. I deleted that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you add a new layer and select the blending mode to multiply. Make sure you always add new layers, that's really important. Okay, so select your skin tone thing again and select the stabilizer to what I just did. If you were watching, you can go back and rewind it. But, um, kind of just copy what I'm doing. Now you can select a red colour and airbrush tool and you can create the blush, which is what I normally do. Okay, so now you add a new layer and select multiply again and this part's optional. This is like, I was just trying something new again. Do you create like little lines of like the same red? Kind of like that to make it look like, I don't even know, but like, <laughs> um, so I was just trying that out something new again obviously you don't have to do it if you don't want to but I decided to do it because it looked cute uh, or cool but anyways and then after I did that I lowered the opacity of the layer because it was too dark so yeah like that okay I, I think we're doing the hair now so we add a new layer to like yeah multiply okay 
like the hair color and I keep on okay pen fade and then you just like sort of like color the outsides of the hair well like around the edges of the hair if you know what I mean like follow the lines mm, I'm uh, okay no I'm not gonna say anything else I'll just confuse you okay but kind of just copy what I'm doing D doing I was about to say doing okay doing okay I need to stop talking Okay, so at this point I realised that I forgot to do something, so add a new layer underneath the layer that you just did and select the hair colour and the bucket tool and then you just like sort of like like <laughs> tap on your hair so that it comes like that and the lines become thinner which just makes it look like neater and nicer than the thick lines but um yeah so just do that which I forgot to do before so that's why you have to do it under the layer though Okay, so just do that. <laughs> okay, and then you can either leave it like that or you can add a new layer and select add. And then select felt tip, yeah, select felt tip pen hard and just copy what I'm doing because I can't, I don't know how to explain this bit at all. So, yeah. Okay, when you're done, you can lower the opacity of your layer if your hair is lighter. And now we're moving on to shading the clothes. So you add a new layer, select the blending mode to multiply, and then you select the colour of your clothes. And you basically just shade it where you want. And I like to select pen fade, but honestly, you can do like any brush for this if you really want to. So now I'm just shading my clothes. You can shade, shade your clothes if you're following along with me. And... I'll come back when that's done.
Okay, so now you add a new layer and you don't need to put any blending mode on it. Select a darker version of your hair colour and select Love Pen. And um, there's a certain mode you need to do it on. So just copy that and then draw the eyebrows, I guess. Yeah, so just do that. And then you can add finishing touches. So I normally add to like, like add like a little bit of pink around my character because it makes it look pretty. <laughs> But you don't have to do this, this is completely optional. Okay, so the next bit is a bit advanced. So if you don't know how to do it, don't worry about it. But basically you just duplicate the layer in the middle of the two layers. You add the colour of the background in white. And you clip it to the bottom layer. And then you can make it larger so it like surrounds the character. But if you don't know how to do this, don't worry about it. Because, yeah. It takes me like a few attempts to get it how I like it. So that's why I'm like getting rid of it and then like redoing it a lot. But, yeah. Okay, so I finally got it to how I like it, and that's basically the end of the editing tutorial. So now you, okay, so now you save your edit as a PNG. I don't know what I'm doing there, but okay, save it as a PNG, and you're done. So this is the finished edit, and that's the end of the editing tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.